Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Ashley's Treasure, and I thought you would like to craft along with me again today. Um, I was doing some stuff yesterday. I was using this from um, a photo album I got at Go Well. One of those ones, the, the smelly one. <laughs> and um, I really like this side, and I used this top part for... Actually, the, I ended up putting on the front of this section. I actually love how this turned out. And um, so I have this scrap piece here and um, I thought I could use it to cover up here because originally I was going to use these scrap parts that I used from a, from a page um, and I was going to like cut out these vines and you know put them on here and just put like distress paper in here. But I thought I got this scrap piece and it has some of these blue ribbon and this blue flower and it has this blue here so I was thinking about putting it in here cutting here and then cutting here a little bit and so it'll be like a pocket here and there'll be like a peekaboo spot here so i am going to start with some craft or paper that i dyed doesn't have to be perfect but i was going to cut this down mark here mark there so i know where to cut it Sorry if you hear the um, the washer going. <laughs> uh, the one of the blank. I'm washing one of the blankets that we use in the couch. Yeah, and the. These parts was from the stencil book I got, the stenciling one. I absolutely love this book, so all the stencils in here, and there's so many flowers and stuff to cut out. I love it. I think I used it in my last uh, signature that I did. Okay, so that works. So tape that down. Because, yeah, I wanted to cover up all of these wordings. Um, let's just use some glue stick. These are the way. Actually, I should just get this whole page out. <laughs> paper behind it so I don't get it all over the place. All right, actually, should I distress this first? Normally I distress everything. I should just stress it, because it's gonna drive me nuts if I don't. Because I can't stress one thing and then not stress everything. <laughs> if there's something left out, it's like a sore thumb to me, like it'll drive me bonkers. Do a quick distress on the edges so it matches everything. This is the um, old paper and it actually gives more of a green color if you can see that here. Which end up being perfect, end up matching everything that I've been doing with the snail garden journal. So, cause yeah, which I'm kind of glad because I've never used this one because it's not like what I thought it was gonna be like. I thought it was gonna be more like, you know, like actual aged paper, you know, more like this color, but no, it's this green color. That's why I don't think they used the right name for this, because I've never seen old paper green like this. But I actually kind of, depending what um, colors you're using it with, sometimes it looks different. It can have like some blue to it, or it's weird. It's a very odd color. But with this, it definitely has the perfect green color that I've been going for. Just hurry up and distress all the edges. Oh, and the furnace might run. Today is the first time I finally turned the furnace on. 
woke up and it was like 67 degrees in the house and my little man was cold. I'm like, oh no, I don't want him to get sick. So I finally turned the furnace on for the first time today, which is weird because not that long ago it was so hot and I had been having the AC running and now I just switched straight, straight from AC to the heater. I didn't even get a break in between there. All right, now we'll glue that down. All right, so I'll just glue all over in here. And I like to go on all the edges to make sure that the edges stay down. Okay, not too worried because this one's right at the edge. Good enough. Yeah, because at first I was just going to do this, and then I was going to fussy cut these veins out, and like, I think I was going to like do those down there, and then these like up here coming down, which actually would look really cute, but I really want to use this other part of this photo, which actually, this is like really thick, this is like cardboard. So I tried thinning it out, I used this, you know, and I was able to get like a lot of the, you know, these parts off that are glued and peel them off. I tried to thin it out and it just kept on peeling on me, but I was able to get these like chunky parts because I was trying to thin it out because of how thick it is. But since then I started thinking it's not that bad having it thicker, especially because I had it on the front of the um, signature. Having that thick helps give it more support. Oops, I just did that corner. Okay, I'm using this side. Um, but yeah, I try to get it as thin as I can. Oh, I don't want to do that. Well, I'm just making it worse than it already is, ain't I? Ain't, ain't a word. Why did I say that? Aren't I? Right. This is like super sharp too. This is like a new bed. It's getting out of control. I guess I'm not that coordinated today. this out of the way. All right, let's see how big I need this to be. So I just had, oh, here it is. That there. So we cut that, all right. And let's get that lined up with the paper. There we go. 
just have it lined up. And I'm not throwing this away because I can definitely still, you know, fussy cut this out. You know, I got these leaves here and I got that adorable butterfly there. So definitely keeping that. You can use it somewhere else in here or any journal really. Like I've seen so many people buy these, but I've never seen them use them. I think they get like overwhelmed. They're like, oh, they're so pretty. And then they get them and then what are we going to do with them? All right. I want to cut that down I think right there. right there sometimes if you can't get it to cut sometimes you need to go in the center and like pull it back and then back through like this one was really thick I got caught a little bit that's okay this part I don't think I'm gonna need. I'll just set aside. All right, let's see where we are at. I am liking this, and so it'll be a nice little pocket here. And so I'm gonna distress my pencil away so I don't lose it. My ink. My dubber. Oh, it's right here in front of me. <laughs> oh my. It's been very cold and rainy and just yucky here the last few days. Nothing special. I'm kind of worried about my little man. I think he might be coming down with something. He's just not being himself today. He's not full of energy. Which I'm kind of worried because he has his uh, checkup because his birthday was back in August and he needed his shots, but... Um, because of COVID last year, the soonest one we could get was like all the way in October. So it was like two months after, well, a month and a half. And so we had to go off from the last time we got shots. So we have to do this in October. And the soonest one I got, appointment I could get was tomorrow. So I hope he's gonna be okay. Cause I'm afraid like if he's too sick, if we can go there, I don't know. And this being um, kind of got like a glossy cardboard, so sometimes I can um, blend it really quick before it dries. See how I can like blend it like that. Oh, and then I want to do the center as well. I accidentally forgot to do that last time, so I had to like, after I had all glued on, I had to like get up underneath there. It was kind of hard, but I still did it. But see how it's like the perfect color? It goes with those leaves. It goes like with both of them. This uh, distressed old paper ink. now oh I think hmm should I just dress this part so it stands out more because I did that on these ones like I distressed where the circles were going to be so they showed up more I think I'm going to do that so what I did upright um took a pencil and I lightly circled around where it's going to be and 
and then I just like inked in that area. Good enough. Hmm. Here we go. It's almost like I should have used a different color paper to make it stand out more. Should I just dress the rest of them? I don't know what things will be in there, so that'll distract it. You know, like, this can go in there. Or, this is not bad because it's got like the green and yellow, you know, sticking out. So there'll be stuff here. But I do like that. But that's still gonna bug me. I think I should just distress around here as well. And doing this really light, um, you can see like you can't see the pencil line anymore in there. Um, but I don't want to get it onto here and here, so I am just gonna get some washi tape. And go over that. Granted, it would be better doing this before I glued this on, but I didn't know I was going to do that at first. Alright. And then get some scrap paper out. See, now you can't even see the pencil mark. How's it going, buddy? Sweetie, you need some Tylenol? Let's get you some Tylenol. All right, I gave him some Tylenol really quick. Hopefully that'll kick in soon and make him feel better. The little guy. Kind of going for it being darker on the outsides. And then fade in.
Yeah, I'm liking that a lot more. All right, that's good enough. There, kind of helps it stand out more. Yeah. Um, our glitter glue. I love this stuff. I told myself I was only going to use it for my albums, but I end up started using it for everything. I use it for my cards, my scrapbooking. I try not to, but it's like addicting because it works so good with everything. Yeah, I use it scrapbooking, my junk journals, my albums, and my cards. I use it for everything. Up just right. Look at that. Put the needle in before I forget. I always forget that. Oops, did I get something on there? Get something on there. Probably some glue or something. Just erase it. There we go. Alright. Look at that. I like it. Turned out really cute. So this is a way how you can use these. By making them into pockets. And let me see it in here. So I don't lose my spot. And also because um, there's like a yellow and orange butterfly here and on this part there's like part of that yellow and orange butterfly there. So that's the reason why I wanted to use this side instead of the blue butterfly on the other side. Because I thought that went better with that. But yeah, I really like that. And then you open up and see here's some blue flowers, same as this one. So I like that. And then see there's some flowers here. I like the way this is turning out so far. So that goes. And then see how I did this part. So you got this whole pocket here. Because originally um, this was scrapbook paper. Um, looks like this. And I had the front part folded in to make a pocket here. And I ended up cutting that off because this ended up being just the right length. And I just trace this big oval where this photo was going to be as it, to use as a big pocket here and I just dressed those parts you can partly see the floral design on there but it's going to be covered up anyways because you know you're going to put stuff in there you won't really see it so I wasn't really worried you only see that little bit right there but I really like how that turned out and it was a little bit um shorter than um this how big the page is so there's this tiny little gap like that big and so I put this uh vintage um lace that I got from that big jar full of vintage lace and I think it was from like a trimming um you know they do at the end of a pillowcase because it was in it was in a circle I had to cut it apart and uh yeah I love that because it kind of looks like flowers at the end and I just it was just the right color it just looked perfect and I didn't even have to dye it because it's already old and vintage and uh, I love it and it looked like it was hand done too um but yeah I love how that turned out and I even like it in the back and then I used a stencil because it kind of had like these like floral design to it so I thought that went well 
with this and you know has that same color going on and I just love how this picture you know is partly showing here it just it just all went together so I hope you enjoyed this and hopefully this helped give you an idea how to use these um, photo albums inside of junk journals so just because um, you know this was supposed to go up and down I end up using the top of it sideways because this is how it was it was like this so just because it was meant to go this way doesn't mean I couldn't do it this way like you you can do anything you want with junk journals that's what I love about it so much like it doesn't have to be perfect like everything is up to you like there's no limits you know possibilities are endless so always think outside of the box I absolutely love this pocket here I think I'm obsessed I think this is like my favorite part of it now so yeah I hope this helped and gave you ideas if you have any of these or if you don't like look for these because there's so many things you can do with these they're so gorgeous I absolutely love them so yeah I hope you like this if so get a thumbs up and don't forget to forget to subscribe talk to you later bye